Okay, this is it. If everything goes perfectly, I might have a shot at the Introspective Technologies internship. I think someone was messing with our projects. No, the internship. Come on, we're smart. We can figure this out. Smart would have been remembering to charge your battery before the science fair. Wait a second. That's it. Kenny, you're a genius. Remind me again, why is Kenny a genius? Because my battery is dead. And because I did charge my battery before the science fair, that means my laptop was left on for like 10 hours. So? So, my computer was facing Chuck's pen and Kenny's potatoes. So you caught the saboteur on video. Well, maybe. My program takes a photo when I see a face. So, if you look toward my laptop, maybe I have a photo of him. Great! Let's check your laptop. Yeah, um, slight problem there. I can't power up my laptop without my power adapter. Where is it? That's the problem. I can't find it. It's not here. My invisible pen was stolen, too. And so were the magnets for my power generator. Dude, on TV cop shows, the criminals always try to hide the evidence before they leave the crime scene. Da 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 da! Kenny, you're weird. Hide it? Where? Uh, under there. Under where? <laughs> Maybe the trash cans. Maybe. I see one over there by the entrance. I'll check that one. Great. And I see one down the aisle. I'll check that one. Kenny and Chuck, I saw two more trash cans by the cafe. Good for you, Mikey. Really? You're not going to help? Dumpster diving is below my pay grade. Kenny? My project exploded. That's a total success. No reason for me to go on a trash safari. In about five minutes, I will announce the winner of the science fair. Oh no, Susie, we better hurry. This science fair is rigged. Come on, Kenny, let's go get some cookies at the cafe. I would like to inform everyone that a gerbil has escaped from one of the projects. It was last seen headed towards the cafe. If you find it, please bring it up here to the podium. Thank you. Hey, Mikey. I found Chuck's pen, but I didn't see your power adapter. Sorry. I didn't see my power adapter either. Ugh, this is hopeless. No way, Mikey. Think. You can solve any problem. Ugh, there's nothing we can do. You know, the funny thing is, you need power for your laptop, and my project was a magnet-powered voltage generator. Not helping. Hey guys, when I threw away my purple cookie wrapper, I found these two magnets in the trash can by the cafe. Were these yours, Susie? No way, those are huge. I guess someone built an amplifier or something. Rock on! Huh, it's too bad someone messed with this science fair. There are a lot of really cool projects here. I bet if we could put all the leftover parts together, we could make a mega awesome project. Like a rock and roll invisible potato face recognizing powerful doohickey thingy. That's it. Kenny, again, you're a genius. Mikey, I'm starting to think you don't know what that word means. Susie. Can you rebuild your power generator using the magnets that Kenny found? That might be enough power to boot my laptop. I'm going to have to reconfigure my whole project, but it might work. Great, and I'll reconfigure my project to connect your voltage generator to my laptop. Kenny, can I borrow your alligator clips? My what? Your metal clipper thingies. Oh, sure. But be careful, they're sharp and squeeze really hard like the jaws of a ferocious animal. Like an alligator? Huh? 
Okay, it's all set. Great. Now I'll use Kenny's alligator clips to connect your voltage generator to my laptop through Chuck's pen tip. All right, let's power it up. Stand back. This could get ugly. Can I please have your attention? While the judges continue uh, judging, we will give out some creativity awards. It needs more power. The most creative award goes to Zoe for her prism rainbow. Yes, it's working. Okay, let me pull up the recent photos and here we go. Security guard, security guard, security guard. It's amazing someone was able to break into the science fair building with so much security around. The environmentally friendly award goes to Damien. Wait, who's that? He's not security. Zoom in on his hands. Dude, he's swapping Chuck's pen. Oh, Chuck is going to be so angry. Do you recognize his face? No, I don't think he goes to our school. Keep scrolling. Hey, what's he doing with my potatoes? This is totally our guy! Dude, I smell smoke. Oh no, Susie, it's your power generator. It's overheating. Ah! Ah! Oh no, we were so close. Now we'll never catch this guy. Hey guys, what's cooking? Chuck, um, is that your jacket? Yep. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Chuck, that's the jacket the culprit was wearing when he swapped your pen. Wait a second. I'm not the bad guy here. I was chasing down a runaway dribble when I found this jacket hung on the rafters by the cafe. Why would I destroy my own project? Because it didn't work. It doesn't work because someone else messed with it. All right, you guys, cut it out. We're back to where we started. We need another clue. Well, I found this $5 coupon in the jacket pocket. He signed his name. We got him. His name is Fur St. Plaz? I believe that's pronounced first place. I've seen that username on a game before. Oh uh, yeah, I saw it the other day playing Ballerina. You play a game called Ballerina? Battle Arena, you moron. Jeez, I'm surrounded by knuckleheads. So you know who he is? No, everyone's anonymous. We use screen names. Well, it looks like he uses his screen name often. Let's Google it. I'm already on it. I get, um, here he is, and he's wearing that same jacket. Ha, I told you it's not my jacket. It looks like he's standing in front of a place called Kathy's. It looks like a food joint with purple cookies. That's Kathy's Cafe where we got our cookies. It's right there. Well, that explains how he got in here. Come on, let's return that jacket and see who claims it. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. First prize goes to Rebecca Green for her erupting volcano. The only project that uh, almost worked. Oh no, we're too late. Hi, kids. What can I get you? Ugh, nothing. Come on, Mikey. We got this far. Hmm. I was wondering if this jacket belongs to any of your employees. Oh, I think I saw Jimmy wearing it this morning. Hey, Jimmy! It's not my fault. 
Jimmy! He blew up my potatoes after him. I'll cut him off at the next aisle. What is all this ruckus? All of you are going to be in big trouble. Security! Please escort these hooligans out of the science fair. Wait, what? Uh, we were trying to help. Pardon me, Mr. Sir Announcer Dude Man. That kid Mikey used his science fair project to capture the guy who sabotaged all of the projects. Is this true, son? Yes. I, uh, I built a face recognition program, and it captured photos of this person messing with some of the science fair projects. Interesting. Were you the one who caused this big brouhaha? No. I mean, it wasn't my idea. Well, I'll take it from here, Archibald. So, you built a face recognition system that actually worked. Um, yes sir. Face recognition is an area that we are currently researching at Introspective Technologies. We'd love to have you join the team, if you're interested. Yes, of course! Fantastic! Great job, everyone! Thank you for such a successful science fair. Thank you, security team. You can let them go now. Off you go, kids. Try not to break any more projects. Great job, Mikey. You did it! I couldn't have done it without everyone's help. This was the best science fair ever. Okay, you weasel, time to start talking. Yeah, why did you sabotage everyone's project? That's so mean. Whatever. Don't pretend like you don't know what's going on here. What is he talking about, Mikey? I don't know. What do you mean? Go ask your friend Doug. It was his idea. What? what? 